everybody out here on another hot summer afternoon gonna head out cruising fingers crossed another round out looking for the hog noses All right, where's he at? There you are. It's a prairie rattler. Beautiful prairie rattler. Well, I'm glad tonight isn't completely uh, worthless. We got one beautiful snake and he's essing up on me. Hey, you. All right, well, it took until 10 o'clock at night, four hours, but we finally got a snake out here. Beautiful prairie rattlesnake, Crotalus viridis. It's probably not gonna show up in the uh, video here, but I'll try and get it in the photos. It's actually got a pretty nice green tint to him. I almost missed him because on this section of the road they really blend in and of course we haven't seen anything in a while so I was really not expecting to find him either but hey got at least one good sneak out here he is a beauty you would see many more if there is one snake that I'm just about guaranteed to find when I go out here it's the rattlesnake and every single one is just a little bit different in appearance. None of them look exactly the same. Maybe broader or narrower blotches, one might be sandier in color, one might be greener, and they all have slightly different personalities too. Some of them do not care that I am there, others absolutely hate my existence. All right, dude, let's get you off the road. <laughs> You're all tucked up in there, aren't you? Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Let's just get you off the road. Almost there. Well, I don't want to step on you. Come on. You gonna go on your own? And slide down the hill? There you go. There you go. In the bushes. Go on, go on, go on, go that way, there he goes, oh now he rattles. <laughs> Out here, let's go see, it is a Woodhouse's toad, hello sir. Oh, it took a while but our ubiquitous Woodhouse's toads have shown back up. Pretty nice looking guy though. Got some nice pattern on his sides. We'll get him scooted across. You can just about always guarantee that a night will be saved if you find nothing else by at least locating one toad. I managed to find two different ones here. I didn't take video, I don't think, of the second one, but he was still just as adorable as the first. There's an owl sitting on the road. I have no idea why. so cool. Alright folks, bit of a short and sweet night and the hog nose still <laughs> evades me, but pretty cool thing to end with with the uh, owl on the road like that. Anyway, next time that I go out I will be heading to a slightly different spot that I've been told uh, has pretty good potential for finding the hogs, so hopefully I'll be uh, lucky in finding them there.
Got a snake. Not sure what it is. I think it's a rattlesnake. Let's see here. Yep, it's a rattler. Just a little guy. Hey, you. Oops. Oh, now he sees me. So we'll get some photos and then move them on. All right, first snake of the second night that I'm poking around. Another prairie rattler. He's actually got some impressive blotching on him. I don't usually see it like that well squared off and covering his back. So, he's pretty wired up, feeling defensive, so we'll get just a couple of photos and then get him moved off. So that motion you just saw was him basically just kind of tucking himself in uh, so that he has less space that he has to defend. Uh, so the smaller the package, the easier it is for him to also uh, lunge out further and get a more distant bite if he feels he needs to. In this last little photo too, you can see he started getting riled up again as he thought I was coming in after him. All right, let's get this grumpy guy off the road. Hey, you. You're just gonna get all defensive here, aren't you? We're just gonna lift you up. Wee! Hey, you're being a little more cooperative on the hook. All right. Oops, there you go. <laughs> you're in the bush. No, no, come on. No, no, go that way. Dude, we want you off the road. So go. Go on. No. No, no, no. Move this way. <laughs> he wants to go towards the really thick grasses that are right next to the road here. And we don't want him to do that. So let's get him way out here. He's being very uncooperative now that he's out here. Come on, dude. No, don't bite the hook. No. Hey, come on. We want you to go out here, okay? Yeah, there you go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, okay, you're well off the road, so we'll leave you there. We've got ourselves a very dirty green colored wood house's towed out here. Get a couple of photos and move them off the road. So just like the rattlesnakes, the Woodhouse's toads also come in a fair amount of variation. Some of them have really strong patterns, and other ones like this guy are just kind of dusty and dull. So we've got a bull snake out here, curled up on the road. I can't tell if he's actually alive or not, though. Yeah, he is. Um, but he might have been hit. Poor thing. Well, second night, at least we were able to add a uh, another rattlesnake to the list, and you can always rely on toads to save the night, even after finding something disappointing like that poor bull snake who, well, he was flicking his tongue, but he had very poor coordination, so don't know if he'll be able to make it, but snakes are tough, who knows. Anyway, the hognoses are still elusive, so we'll be heading out probably near the end of this month a few times and then through September see if we can't nab one. Uh, there's a lot of good roads out here that I've actually just started checking in on so hopefully I'll be able to uh, cruise those a little more routinely and hopefully come across a hog at some point. Hey everybody we are out here again. Third time's the charm I'm hoping maybe. The hog noses are still eluding me but it is a perfect warm afternoon, actually getting into evening at this point. I'm out a little later than I wanted to be, but uh, it's supposed to stay pretty warm in through the evening and early into the night. So here's hoping the recent moisture will also help out and that we will find some bull snakes, some rattlesnakes, and hopefully that hog nose. Well, as usual, our first find of the night is not a snake but one of our resident box turtles.
Hey you, what are you doing? Hi. Get some photos of you, huh? This one's a bit of a shy turtle. Not really wanting to come out. Let it show. Hopefully we can encourage it to do so. While we figure out a good place to let him get across the road because well, the sides are kind of steep around here. Unlike many of the turtles I've seen recently, this one I actually think was a female because she had more of a convex uh, plastron underneath and every single one, a little bit different pattern. Let's see if there's anything underneath these. It's feeling a lot cooler out today than it was supposed to. Really worrying me. Get that back in place. There we go. A lot of beetles. A lot of little beetles. Oops. Not a whole lot else, though. Also nothing. Of course. Well, that was unproductive. Colorado weather forecasts. I hate them. This night was supposed to last like in the mid 70s all the way until like 10, 11 o'clock at night, but the moment the sun started going behind those clouds, it dropped to like 68 almost immediately. The sunset was pretty though. And we have a snake at 68 degrees. It is a little rattlesnake. Look at you. And so nobody comes by so we can get some good photos. Well, if there's one species that seems to be almost certain that I'll find at least one of, it's the rattlesnakes. Another little prairie out here tonight. It's got some nice pattern. Some good contrast on them too, actually. So we'll get some photos and then get them off the road. Now, my own personal experience and also a little bit of bias from a lot of things that I've heard often tells me that as soon as it starts getting below 70, a lot of the snakes will stop moving. Well, luckily for me, and everyone else who goes out and herps late at night, that's generally not true. Uh, even throughout the 60 degree range, from 60 to 70, there's a lot of species that will remain active, including, particularly, some of the larger vipers. So, until it actually starts to get really cool, keep looking. Alright, so now that we've got some videos, let's get this guy off the road. Hey, you. I know. Oh, goodness. You were all nice and calm until I touched you, huh? Off the road. Oh. Well. Alright, then.
You just get off the road. Good boy. There's another one out here. Are you also a rattlesnake? Yes, it is. Hey, you. Gee, why are all the rattlesnakes coming out when it's cool now? Hello. He's flicking his tongue. We'll get some good photos, hopefully. So we got this guy who uh, is much more reactive than the first one. Who's already... Hold on, dude. I don't want you to go just yet. Hold on. I want to see some photos. At least get a look at you, okay? Yeah. Hi. I'm going to at least get you out on the road so I can see you a little bit for a minute. Then you can go in, into the bushes, okay? There he goes. Off somewhere in there. I see him. He's going off way out there now. Good. That night, unfortunately, ended horribly as immediately after the rattlesnakes I came across a big hognose that somebody had just hit right after I had turned around. So naturally I can't leave it there. I had to go out another day. Found uh, a couple mornings later uh, a couple pretty wildflowers and a beautiful prairie lizard. There sounds a little prairie lizard here. Beautiful slaty stripe down the back. Bright pattern on the sides. We're just gonna let her go right back under here though. Cause we've already gotten a couple of photos. Here he goes. Swim. And then I've headed out again on another evening. Starting out a little earlier in the day when it was warmer. Unfortunately it stayed pretty quiet for most of that period until finally the sun started setting and some of the wildlife started showing up. Alright, I can't believe I drove past this. But we have a newborn baby prairie rattlesnake out here. He's so small. And I think there might have been another one just up the road too, so I'll have to go check that. Well, it's clearly that time of year. Look at how tiny this guy is. He's not even a, he's maybe a foot long. He's got like one and a half buttons. He is so cute. So yeah, this is the time of year all the babies are dropping, so I gotta keep a closer eye out. There might be a second one up the road, so I'm gonna have to go check that out. But we'll get some film here and some photos and then move him off the road. Yep, just as a reminder, prairie rattlesnakes, just like all rattlesnakes and most pit vipers are live bears, meaning they have live young when the time comes, so no eggs to deal with. And um, they're born fully ready to go, although they do stick around with the mother for about a week, week and a half to two weeks, until they shed for the first time because their mother provides a bit of protection. And then also they will sometimes maintain some family relationships throughout the rest of their life uh, as well as developing friendships, so rattlesnakes are actually fairly social animals. Although, mind you, not social with people, of course, as you saw as this guy decided to start scooting off while I was still trying to record him. Um, it's also important to remember, babies are not more dangerous than the adults are. Um, they have full control over their venom, and usually their venom is also tailored more towards killing things like small lizards as opposed to mammals, so it's often less toxic overall to people as well. So, just due to the size alone, the venom yield that an adult has would be more dangerous. However, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take a bite from a baby rattlesnake seriously. It is still something that you should visit a hospital for. Well, it's kind of decided to make it off the road itself, so... let him do that. Cool. Alright, baby number two here. Who was just down the road. Adorable tiny little guy. 
We'll get him off the road shortly as well. Wonder where the mother is. All right, we'll see if we can get this guy off the road. He's trying to rattle that tiny little rattle of his. Come on, dude, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, almost. Come on, no further. No, no, a little further. Up here. There you go. You go that way. Okay. Got another one out here. Another rattler. This one's a bit bigger than the babies from earlier. Ugh. Hey, you. What are you doing? Oh, you're leaving, huh? Hold on, I want to get some photos. Can you sit there for just a moment? Thank you. All right, rattlesnake number three for the night. This one's a bit bigger and very skinny, so who knows? This could be the mother of the couple babies that we found right on this stretch of road about an hour earlier. So, beautiful snake. Yeah, very skinny, as if just dropped babies. So I'll bet it probably is. We're starting to cross uh, off to the right of us, but it's kind of head off in the other direction now that I've shown up, so we'll see if we can get her going in the same way that she was earlier after a couple quick picks. So with the babies dropped and the females now at a much lower body weight overall, it becomes time for them to start trying to pack on their pounds. So they'll be really active trying to hunt as much as they can before the cold starts to set in, which around here usually starts happening as early as the end of September. If we lucky, a little into October. Hold on. Oh no, you weren't going that way. Come here. Oh, come here. No, 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 you were going the other way. Well, I mean, okay, if you're going to go this way, let's head off. I'll let you if you make it on your own. Keep going. It's a steep climb. Can you make it? Can you make it? I'll help you up. I know. You see the hook. Here. Ugh. Set you up. Over there you go, okay? Hide away. I see you in the bushes. There she goes. We've got another one out here. Oh, this one isn't a rattlesnake. It's a young bull snake. Look at you. Hi. And you're getting all grumpy. Alright, we've got here a young bull snake. Probably last year's hatchling because he's a little big. Ooh, and he's all grumpy. Don't really want to scare him, but he's acting all hissy puffy. Let's see if we can get a couple of photos though. Young bull snakes always seem to have the most attitude. Of course, they're small, everything eats them. But as you'll see shortly, once they're in hand, often you'll figure out they're just bluffers. Alright, so we've got him up and he's calmed down a little bit. He is a handsome little bull snake. Yes, he is. Very jumpy though, but beautiful. You know, when bull snakes first hatch out, they're quite a bit smaller than this, so that's why I'm thinking he's probably from last year. It's nice to see there around. He's only just starting to get kind of the triple color pattern that these guys have. And that beautiful face. All right, dude. We'll get you off the road in here in just a sec. Let me get a, another quick photo or two, okay? All right. Yeah, that's... Oh, yes. Goodness. We hear ya. Okay. Now, you're over here. You were heading this way. Right? Okay. All right, you go this way. There you go. Run off. There you go. And away he goes. Beautiful. All right, people. Well, at least tonight brought out a few interesting snakes, a whole family of rattlesnakes and that young little bull. Um, the hognose apparently will continue to be my white whale, but 
the next trip that I will hopefully be on here shortly. Probably won't be finding one of those, but with any luck, the next time that you see me will be from Arizona. So fingers crossed that I do find some good stuff down there. It's not a herping trip per se, but heck, if I'm not going to take advantage of a short little family visit to go look for stuff as well. But until then, uh, as always, you can find photos and videos and such on the social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, at Carlton Carnivores. If you want to get uh, updates ahead of time of what videos might be coming out or exclusive product updates for the website at carltoncarnivores.com, you can consider uh, joining as a patron at patreon.com slash hcarlton. Uh, people there get other exclusive benefits back as well, and of course you are helping to support the production of educational videos and wildlife adventures and much more. There will be more information in the description as always. Follow the links to find the website, the database, the blog, and so much more. But until next time, I'm Hawken Carlton, and this is Carlton Carnivores.